the best way to skip time is music. Happy or sad, romantic or heartbroken, excited or sloth. For every particular mood, there is an appropriate type of music. Music is a much bigger part of our life than we realize. Without music, life would be a mistake, said Friedrich Nietzsche, a German philosopher. Keeping the clinical or medical approach aside, most of us listen to music because we enjoy it. How we express or react to the music has changed through the course of time. Earlier, music lovers used to purchase music record disc, tapes, VCR and paid good money for it. But since the arrival of YouTube, music has been democratized and free. Just a quick search and a click and you can listen to your favorite song. It's much better than lining up in front of a music store for purchasing a newly arrived song's music tape. Well, music festivals are the newest trend and their popularity is rapidly growing. Recently, the music festivals have become the very definition of enjoying music. There are every year numerous such festivals are organized all over the world. Not only are they have to become a sensation among the young crazy population, these have also been successfully financially. Large crowds are jumping in ecstasy on listening and enjoying the music played by the DJ is the image which pops up in our head when we think about music festivals. But out of so many all over the world, one which garnered the most attention is Tomorrowland Music Festival. Every year held in the month of July, Tomorrowland is electronic dance music which is EDM music festival which was first held in 2005 at Boom in Belgium. It is organized by IDNT, an entertainment and media enterprise based in Holland. It was first thought by the ambitious tag team of Michael and Manu Beers. The Beers brothers are not only the creator of this music festival but also the leader of 14 men court which makes sure that it is happening smoothly. The first edition of this music festival only attracted an audience of mere 9,000 people. The brother distributed the flyers themselves. But with their hard work and savvy, this concept became a huge sensation. In 2017, a whooping number of 360,000 people attended the festival. The secret behind the success was a joint venture between the Beers Brothers and the IDNT in 2011. This compartmentalization worked so well that according to an estimate it made a profit of 16 million euros in 2013 edition and added about 70 million euros to the Belgian economy. Currently, it is the world's biggest electronic music festival. Within the minutes, the festival tickets are sold out. Such is the popularity of it. The reason behind this phenomena is in its concept. People from more than 200 countries come to Boo just to attend this festival. They camp at Dreamville, which is said to be a home away from home. It is a camping ground which can be a temporary home for 35,000 plus people. It is the place where people meet new people from different race, color, religion and country and befriend them. Perhaps the best part of the festival along with music is in its diversity, people hearing and enjoying it in unity with each other. In addition to lovely adrenaline pumping music, 39 stages, over 69 stages and over 1000 artists, out of which 60 were headliners in 2017, the ancillary sources of both success and revenue for the festival is in the bakeries, coffee shop, butcher shop and all other kind of catering services which provide you with delicious delicacies. Their own radio station and different rides give them an amusement park feeling. There are luxurious tent, gym, jacuzzis for those who are ready to spend a bit more. Perhaps the most positive side of the 
festival is that there is a zero tolerant drug policy which sends a very healthy message out that even for the young there is a vast difference between even the most exuberant enjoyment and barbaric jaybirki most of the decoration of the festival is handmade which not only gives the artists to a chance to advertise their artist but supports them financially it also provides them an aesthetic and even more beautiful look of the festival it is a complete cashless festival if you want to buy anything you must use tomorrow lens currency known as the pearls you must also have an electronic band which works as a credit card to purchase stuff it is all digitalized and all the latest cool tech toys of tomorrow lens are fine here giving it also a science fair feeling the beautiful fireworks and the laser shows at the end of the shows which lit up the sky remind us of the lavish new year celebration of Eiffel Tower in Paris or Burj Al Khalifa in Dubai there are also different versions of tomorrowland in different countries like brazil and usa known as the tomorrow world but in all honesty they all are not turn out to be as successful as the one in boom the reason behind not everyone has the experience to organize such a large event a few even were shut down due to fire or bad weather conditions also mismanagement complaints are seen outside belgium though the core team is positive that in the coming years they will be able to replicate the festival success in other countries as well they are of the view that the future of the festival outside belgium is also bright tomorrowland is not merely a festival it is much more than that it is a combination of a music festival an amusement park a camping site a luxury resort science and food fair and to everybody's surprise a library and much more the initiative known as unite the tomorrowland which streams the live event of headliner artists from belgium or over the world is different countries but so much going on in the entire world there is only a few occasion where we can enjoy all together tomorrowland being one of them the festival of all humanity One of the compromises you'd have to make is with its cost. In 2018 edition, the worldwide cost of the ticket be expected to be US dollar 340. And including travel, food, lodging expenses at even become costlier. Tomorrowland mansions are rented out of more than 50,000 US dollar for ultimate luxury experience. Yet despite their cost, the tickets of the festivals are sold out within 30 minutes. This is the proof of its over criticism. It is once a lifetime experience which makes your vacation memorable. This year's festival will take place on 20th July, and numerous award-winning DJs are scheduled to perform and entertain myriad music lovers. This year's story will be the story of the. Balance. Every year, something new and exciting happens, and what exciting and new will happen this year? Wait to find out.